Are we, are we going now? The actually? absolute smell in this room. Also, breathe towards her, please, Sha. No! Breathe that. I shotgun, you breathe that way. No! She stinks. So we all cheese and crisps I had. <laughs> ah, so, so you freely admit they weren't yours. We are no, here today to discuss um, some gay no, stereotypes. Sorry, I'll just put a pin in that. I think I'll open. Oh, what the fuck? We are here today to discuss the many facets. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really rude, actually. I love doing that. Of the gay community. Nova, no, over to you. No, you know what? Carry on. Where did she get that from? Sorry, you Alice. pulled that out of your crotch. <laughs> so I think Charmaine is a good place to start today. We're talking about gay stereotypes. What we fit, what we don't, maybe some tired stereotypes. Yeah. And we want to get Shar involved because Shar is obviously different. She's yeah. interesting in that she fits a lot of these stereotypes, but does not like to see them in others. Does not like to admit that she is gay and is like a gay person that yeah. does gay stuff. Even though you would clock her as a flamer from like across the street. The first thing I think is that people think gay people are obviously very, very well put together and hygienic, which obviously Sha is not. You have showered before. I have. Uh... When was I here last? The weekend. That the last time you showered. She last show so sharp, you know, hygiene wise, I don't think that's a, a, a fair assumption at all that all gay people are just nice and clean. No. no. I think that leads into also fashion. You know when you yeah, see so a gay... Yeah, so gay people are supposed to be more stylish, more fashionable. I think, generally speaking, that is a stereotype that runs true. Not always, but I, I don't that find runs that true. at all. No. I would like to think that the three of us are pretty well put together normally. If we're going out somewhere, I think You're we could not. be clocked as gays. Do you remember that, that like, hit dressing a Trump t-shirt used to wear? Yeah. That was a political was statement. Not I fashion. Don't I don't really care about fashion, no comments please. Yeah, but, no, but in doing that, you still wear a long line t-shirt, you wear like... It's anything that comes you, with a stomach. Right, okay, so... <laughs> she couldn't resist. You know when people sort of, you know, insult other people? But you shop at like Killstar, you don't shop at The Gap, do you know yeah. what I mean? Because so, like, they really sort of have, have insecurities themselves you about You do what have a personal like. style. Well, I feel like I've really taken into um, account proportion and stuff like that, which maybe your average straight dude does not. No, absolutely so, not. So, I guess sort of appearance-wise, yes, mm. maybe that's the thing, is who is a gay, can you think of one, who doesn't care about what they look like? We'll discuss names after after the program. I can't think of a name. Maybe that is one then. I think that's quite an important thing for gay people is presentation. Not lesbians. Yeah, no, lesbians don't. No, care in a different people. way. In a different way. In a different way. Yeah. There's a checklist, isn't there? Tats. Piercings. Tattoos. 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 A, a wife beater. Zero heels. Just nice, a nice chunky flat. Yeah. 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 To just clarify, this is about gay men. This video. Oh yeah. Gays. Just in yeah. general, I suppose. Well, my um, hate is not limited to them, I hate lesbians. Another too. one is that they're very effeminate. I think a lot of people just think gay men are like women and they're very femme and... And we have a very nice representation of all types of gay men here today who aren't femme, you know, don't want to look like women. The femme thing has obviously got to be the, the, the main one that is um, not true. Obviously there are gays that are very femme, and a lot of them are, but that's the one I yeah. feel like is if you, you know, gay, suddenly people are gonna think you walk around people doing this. People just think of like Paul O'Grady. Mm. Mincing around, you know, you could be Alan a Carr. football player. Yeah. You know, they, they are amongst, they hide amongst us. Yeah, you and know, my favorite kind of gay man. Well, we're gonna get onto that in part two. Don't you blow your load I here. think another, <laughs> another <laughs> stereotype is that gay men are very promiscuous and that they, that they... All can't keep a relationship together for very long. Because they just fuck each other constantly. So Shah's never had a boyfriend, have you Shah? Never. Mm. You've never had one. You would really like one, but just can't quite get one. <laughs> Is that Absolutely right? You just, not. Can't, oh, so close every time. But you can't quite get one. Only if he's straight and married, then I'll take him as a boyfriend. No. Stop. Would you stop teasing the second part of the video, please? <laughs> Tease that guy as well. What about, you know, one that I think <laughs> Why is did a... you just say? <laughs> no, nothing. We'll tease, cut that. Tease that guy's hole. Yeah, we're not cutting it. You're not editing it. No, shut Okay, the one that I think is, so if you watch like Desperate Housewives or any kind of sort of, especially of that kind of era, sort of millennial type yeah. shows. Betty. They are very, I, I find the main one that people, they constantly were put into TV shows and movies is that gays are obsessed with musicals. 
Oh yeah. Yeah. Musicals, they have a, a very large knowledge of, you know, Judy Garland and, and what have you. But I can't, I don't really, I can't stand musicals, really. I, I like, like musicals, musicals yeah. but I wouldn't say I'm like obsessed with musicals. I I do like musicals. You actively dislike them, which is different, isn't the it? The only ones I really care for are ones that I watched when I was a kid because there's a nostalgic value like Annie. It's bad. No. <laughs> I nearly threw up down myself, but that's fine. She, we were getting ready a second ago, and she literally just said, oh my god, oh no, it's okay, I think I nearly shit myself. <laughs> then the whole room smelled like diapers, like the nappy changing facility of a John Lewis. It's, oh it was hideous. God. So gross. John Lewis is far too Shark, can you think of any gay stereotypes that you really believe in or that annoy you? Not so much stereotypes. What's it called where you like, um, I think it might be a stereotype. Oh, we'll just well, say like it, they we'll call like um, they class people as like bears and otters. And oh, you don't like all the the, the grouping like the, the names, the clicks. I can't keep up with them all. So that I They're think is a really many. good example of why I think the idea that all gays are the same is just fundamentally wrong because gays have divided themselves into these mm. groups. Uh, and I everyone's think, like attracted to like a certain. thing. I think it's you know mostly I mean? like a sexual thing. And it's like you're sexually yeah. attracted to these groups, or you identify as these groups. But I wonder I think if that derives it's from not just that, is it? From an older way of living, whereby you had to kind of have certain criteria in order to make it obvious to other other men, sort of under the radar. Mm. You know, I am this, I am that. Would you like to meet in a car park and do it? Did it's they a very have easy like an ear piercing. To so that. I feel like it was a right. It was if your right ear was pierced. Yeah, just the one. Oh. And if have you, you ever had heard like, that, no. That, have you heard that? Yeah. Yeah. I, heard that. It, I think it was your right ear. But there's obviously a lot of ways that there was a coloured handkerchief yeah, in there too. I think blue means oral. To denote think. what you would be up for doing. <laughs> Shah's got a whole rainbow collection in her in her purse. <laughs> Just in case. Ready to go. I think the yeah, other this is completely different, but another stereotype I think is with gay relationships that there's always like who is the man and who's the woman? Oh, that is got to be the most objectionable. That's a real. You don't thing hear that, that so much like. anymore. Uh, you do. You do many, hear it. Like, you do. You from do. Like, middle-aged yeah. women. Yeah. Oh, just white. No, and straight, straight guys as really? well. Yeah. So which one's that, the man like... and which one's the woman? Yeah. Who would you say is the man and who would you say is the woman? The the sort of insulting implication being, of course, that. A man and a woman have to therefore have, apart from other than sort of sex in the bedroom, we'll talk about that. Um, you Do know that, you that one of one of us has got to be what staying at home doing the cooking. Yeah, which would I be over if you want to know the yeah. answer. I would be the man, she'd be the woman. I've already told him that. Is that You're the one who stays at home, and I'm the one who goes out to work. Oh, that's true. So maybe. But you do more cooking. Gardening. Gardening. Yeah, I'm the gardening. Yeah, but that's also in my family. That's a very male thing to do. But I sling one up you nightly, so... <laughs> <laughs> what about top and bottom then? Is that a stereotype or is that true? I think that as well. There's a lot of... Um, like there's a culture of, like, bottom shaming, isn't there? Is there? Yeah. Of, like... Your... I didn't know that. Yeah, that's a thing. That's I a didn't phrase. That. So because, like, if you're a top, you're perceived as being oh, more I see. masculine, I, more of powerful. Course. And if you're a bottom, you're perceived as being more pathetic but that's and not, feminine. But that's got to be outside of the gay community. No. No. Oh, that's, is it? That's a thing. Oh, no, I've not even heard of it before. It sort oh, of I've makes sense. I've seen that on gay media loads of times. I like it makes sense. Oh. No, not like that. Oh. <laughs> not like <laughs> that. <laughs> No, I don't know about that. I guess I, I know what you mean. It makes sense, but that to me strikes me as being sort of like, oh well, which you know, an outsider being like, oh, which one are they? Because that'll give me everything I need to know, which obviously it doesn't. Where's my fan? And also, you, off me. you don't have one. Oh, you thank really you. set yourself thank up you, for that. But also, probably the assumption that you have to be one or the other. Don't you think that's got to be yes. something? Is it you yeah. have to literally be one or the other? Are you like a great big leather daddy, or are you a little prissy? You know, theatre school kids. Oh, I think so pretty. <laughs> people are under the assumption that um, kind of putting people into boxes ends with just being gay and straight, but it really doesn't. And I think no. gay people as well are real victims of dividing themselves and putting themselves under labels and boxes. Yeah, there's a lot of it. There's so much, isn't there? It's just... You can't just live your life. You have to be like, are you a twink? Are you a yes. top? Are you bottom? Are you... Top. 
like what? That's another one I suppose is that because you know you would look at Shara and see a little kind of prissy bitch boy <laughs> that you would assume that she would be a bottom but she tells people she's dark. <laughs> <laughs> Which you know. Ask most of Bournemouth fun. But you I don't think she would ever be in the physical like situation where she could bottom. Oh! <laughs> like I don't think she Because you always ever... have diarrhea. Because <laughs> your your diet is so unhealthy and you are never <laughs> At this point I'm just not a bottom I but think I have to do. <laughs> the idea of you bottoming would be so this dangerous. Is so disgusting. I hate this conversation. Yeah, you so would be dangerous. horrible. It'd be like going on tidal wave at Thought Park. <laughs> no, it'd be sexy. You're not sexy. You're sexy little slut. Um, right, Michelle, we have had you in this video to like use your input and you've not really said much. You so. never no, do. I said, didn't I say? Okay, what about like just like music that you're supposed to like? So oh, that's we a all one. are supposed to love Britney Spears. I don't I can't no, even know. I feel like the gays are separated musically into like Kylie, Madonna. I feel Britney, like you Cher. have your diva. Yeah, Beyonce. Rihanna. So you I have find your let's Lana just go to, to Sha because I find your music taste to be interesting because I, as far as I know it starts and ends with cupcake. So <laughs> who is like who are of the one direction? <laughs> one direction is such an anomaly. Like that's so weird of you. To, they're like, they're like little boys. Are there? Uh, it's like all do all One Direction really have okay. a big gay following? Are there other gays that like One Direction? I think there's quite a lot. A, a who would be your diva? Like, who is like yours? Um, Cher. Cher. Yeah. So that's a thing, I guess, as well, is that I don't complain game... that I don't say anything and then ask my fucking questions for me, Jen. Honestly, I can't believe you. Is that a thing, though, also, that every gay has a diva? Yes. I think so. Lady Gaga, Madonna, Kylie, Madonna Lana Del Rey. A... Madonna gays are the worst. Mariah, Britney. Madonna gays are the worst. I'll, I, I will attest to that. <laughs> No, like this old, be... older generation, Bette Midler or Judy, Judy Streisand. Yeah. See, I think that if you're like a Lady Gaga or a Britney, Lady uh, Gaga do, fans does that mean that you're just like really basic? Yeah. So Nova, That's obviously really rude, your favourite is Britney Spears. Yes. So is that sort of so expected of you? I don't know what it means to be like any of these women, but I just think in my experience, every gay has like one female artist that I think is that's their number one. one. I wouldn't say Cher's that. like my number one, but I mean in terms of like... You have to pick the, one. Yeah, in terms of like being a gay Well, yours icon, would be One Direction, which is, I find strange. Like, they're your diva. No, you can't say that. It has to be a one woman. Yeah, no, One yeah. Direction doesn't count because no. there's, there's a sexual attraction thing. And I think that's... But that gross. would be Cher breaking the stereotype because she doesn't have one that she would go and listen to and be like, I would I would listen to this all day. That's true. Yeah, I would be, but not all day, but like Cher, if I had to choose one out of like all the Yeah, but you have to icons. choose, whereas like we just know. Sidebar, oh. mine and Cher's favourite Cher song is the same. What's that? All, all or Nothing. nothing. So oh, good. Right, oh. So cute, that one. Love That's it. it. Um, but I feel, yeah, going back to um, music, I think it's a stereotype for gay people to just like pop and dance music and just something they can get drunk to and like take a whole load of cat and just get really messy with. That's us every Saturday. So I used to date this one dude who was in a band, but it was very kind of like heavy metal. I don't know who that he would. You remember Rob? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no. Don't you blow it over here! So, but he would he would never listen to like, you know, sugar babes that we listen to. So that's what I'm saying though, it's a stereotype, but so I don't think that's, music that's probably the one that is, I think, the most yeah. true. What about drag though? That's such a thing. But I see that as being like, gay people are more in tune to how the world kind of works because you're on the outside being not allowed into sort of the big party as it were. So you can sort of see people kind of like playing dress up, you know, like... Go... No, I don't understand that. It's like how straight people would not allow gay people into the sort of party. You so we see? make our own party. So you make your own party, but also you can play around with the idea of gender more because you can kind of see it and see how much of a joke it is. If you've got any intelligence inside of you, once you've kind of dealt with the idea and the fact of your own sexuality, it gives you a certain amount of empathy with a whole wide variety of other kind of groups of people and I think where am I going with this? Yeah, no, I know what you mean. So you, know what I mean? So you could it's Absolutely. like you know the matrix, you can see yeah. the matrix, so you play around you, with it more. You can apply your own experience to, uh, and put yourself in other people's shoes. So you're just not an arsehole. So Sha, what do you think? 
Yes. Why did we even ask you? I don't know what you were saying. It didn't make any sense to me. That's because you're a dumb shit. You're a dumb you shit. You put it like in layman's terms to me so I can at least have some hope of understanding. I'm not explaining it to you. Okay. But that fan's really nice though. So. so what is it with like gay voice? Ah, oh, the gay voice. Like Now that's with a physiological lisp. though. Yeah, but like what is that? Uh, the lisp one is, is that? ridiculous. Because how many gays do you know with a lisp, honestly? Oh, quite a few. I really? I can't name well. one. I'm not going to name them now and name and shame them. <laughs> Just mouth it to me. No. Shut up, mate. <laughs> I don't, I don't know of any. I think that obviously gays that's have higher thing. pitched but voices. Just like, yeah, but like gay. Yeah, voice why is, is that? Thing. Well, I think that's like a physiological thing. Yeah, but what is, yeah, what is, well, why are people can? Yeah, that's. You know, a gay person's brain is supposed to be more of the shape of the opposite gender. Is that why So our brains would look more like a female brain than a male one. I, I believe think that that's... sounds like bollocks. No, I believe that to be very true. I am a neurologist. I don't think that's right. And I know And then also something. gay face. Like what, what is that? What Sometimes is that? you can just look at someone's face. Like you or it just be like a passport photo. Well they're yeah, that's normally because they got their eyebrows tweezed and like No, no, no. It's, you know like gay on. face, like Will Young has it. You know like that like, Oh like, I know what you mean. He has a lisp. Yeah, he does have a lisp. Yeah. It's, it's all in the jaw and the mouth. Like a sort of yeah. underbite, sort of like a... Mm. And like, maybe like a wider nose. But like gay face. Who else has I've gay never face? considered I that gay face was that. a thing. That, that, um, gay the, the neighbour in Grace and Frankie, the younger one, who is in the musical, he has no, gay face. No, no idea. The one in Shit's oh, Creek does. has it. What's the gay one in Shit's no. Creek called? No, he's beautiful and he does. alone. I think maybe the camp thing comes from, well, a lot of gays kind of play it up, don't they? Especially when they're just out of the closet yeah. and they want it to be like, they want to just be like noticed. Yeah. So they, they kind of play that up. The worst kind of The worst kind of thing is the bitchy no, gay. Exasperated sigh. <laughs> The what? The bitchy, the bitchy gay. gay. Can't relate. Because yeah. that is a stereotype, but that is one that's really founded, and it's just, it's fuck, it's so annoying, it fucks me they off. They touch on that in Big Mouth, and I think, was it the older gay who said to the young queer, like, being bitchy and queer is not a personality? Or just being and bitchy. And he was just like... I suppose as well, when you factor into it, like, drag race and stuff, and throwing shade or whatever, a lot of people think it's so funny and so fun to just be really bitchy and it is just so tiring. Yeah. But it's fun if you, you do it successfully. You grow out of it. People just are assholes, aren't they? It's funnier when you do it to someone's face and then there's like a joke going, you get a joke going. Like, Shao will obviously say I'm overweight, which, you know, is I don't say that. not... <laughs> it's, all, it's not. It's not new, it's not clever, it's not funny. She's not a funny person, you know? I'm hilarious. No, she's not at all. Really funny. Fun, desirable. And sexy. You're something of an anomaly because how you will get anyone to sleep with you, let alone the hundreds of people that troll through I your house. I think Shah's a prime example that men will... Fuck anything. ...stick their <laughs> penis into anything. Anything. <clears throat> right, well, that's rude. Because you stink so much. No, don't move. You'll, you'll move the stink. <laughs> you'll upset the stink. Sports. Well, gays can't do gays sports. Gays can't do sports. Which is true. Don't like I don't know a gay who can do sports. I think there are obviously gay sports there teams. There are. They have to be. But they can't be oh. that good, let's be honest. There no. are some rugby players who have come out, some no. football players. Yeah, um, so that does happen. But I think generally speaking, it's, it's a minority. I don't think that's very common, is it? Got be cunt. There's um. Oh, and also, <laughs> the <laughs> no, go for it, Shark. Yeah. I'm joking, Shark. There's an LGBTQIA <laughs> plus. Did I do it right? Yes. Thank you. That um, you I'm trying, I'm learning. Rugby team in Bournemouth somewhere. I had my picture taken with them one year at Pride. They picked me up. Well, every right, fucking so I've already said them. this. There are yeah. LGBT sports Yeah, but like, teams. I mean, exclusively sport. Like Generally LGBT. speaking, yeah, though. I, I think, personally, in my experience, you can find a straight guy, and the chances are, nine times out of ten, he will have some affinity to a particular sport and or team. Yeah. Like, I think it's very, very rare for a straight man to not have some interest in sport. And I think you can take those stats and flip them for gay men. But that's generally speaking, because women have less interest in sport than men do. That's I don't just think a that's thing. True. I think that's true. You're out of your mind. I don't think that's that true. That is, generally speaking, I think, a fact. Can't we just say... I think there's more straight women that like sports mm. than there are gay men. But there are also less women that like sport than men. And a lot of gay men are, in I a, lot a lot of that, terms, I, more I, feminine. I think I know is. why that is, though. It's because when you learn how to do sports in school, if you're 
the only gay guy and you always get separated by gender to do sports at school so that's usually like quite harrowing and hideous and then you just don't Horrible. like it anymore. Horrible. There's a lot of gay bashing and a lot of you know stuff in a lot of that male kind of oriented kind of bonding thing like oh you know you yeah. throw like a girl. Last to be picked. For the All teams. that shit yeah. was horrible. You were to be picked for the teams. Don't not lie to not, me. Uh, not in rugby. No. I wasn't. <laughs> no, fact, you were the. Prop. I actually wasn't. <laughs> yeah, you were the prop. No, what is that? <laughs> no, that thing that they, they move. In the no, shut up. That's so rude. <laughs> well, that no, I wasn't that. Move and just no, I one. I wasn't bad at that, but I didn't. I just closed my eyes and ran. So <laughs> you screamed. I just sort of punched people. Just sort of barge people out the way. I remember I got studded up in a tit once at well You I'm sorry, you what? Got studded in the tit? Yeah, like you a rugby tackle with someone. He went like that and I was like... Can you imagine Sean playing rugby? Oh my Can God. you imagine? That's all, I think that's also a stereotype of gay people being stupid. You know, I used to really think that and it used to... Because you see that a lot in television. If they don't have a dumb blonde character because that's not deemed to be sexist, then now just have like a dumb gay character. Gay. Why don't you just say it? Neighbor? He's only interested in you know really Go sort on. of like so they've just replaced things. the dumb blonde stereotype and they've just created a new one. Dumb blonde. I used to think that a lot because I used to date some people. I dated someone once who laughed because I used the word fathom. I was like, God, why did it? Why did it finish like that? I can't <laughs> fathom why those writers would do that. And he started like laughing to himself, and I was like, Are you okay? And he was just like. What was that word you just said? Oh my God. And I was just like, okay, I need to nip this in the bud. <laughs> this is not going to work for me. And here you are, four, five, six years later. <laughs> right, exactly. Didn't end it at all. Just carried it on for no reason. Um, for no the reason. Because the head is great. I'm just joking. I'll cut that bit out. Um, <laughs> but gay. I did think that. I thought gays were stupid as well. I don't think that anymore. No. I do. Not since I met like, you know, people like Polly and stuff. Like, I know stuff. Oh, yeah. And me. You know, a few I, things. Working, You're more opinionated than you know things. Go working shot. in a gay bar, I see a lot of that. I see a lot of different types of gays. It's almost like there are different and types. It is. Well, I think we've learned something here today. Um, no, I was going somewhere with that. What were we just talking about? Oh my about? god, you, had a, you finally had a thought. Fuck me, and it came no, and went as... I... Wait a minute, let me gather my thoughts. It's what you were saying about when people first come out and they kind of act like that whole like loud and obnoxious and it's that I see in the people who are very, very young. I used to love telling people I was gay. As soon as I came out, it was the first thing I wanted to talk to people about and like be loud and, and obnoxious and just talk about it. Oh, so that's what I No, I've never been like that. No. Because it's like being a bit different, isn't it? So but you are like, loud and obnoxious. Look at me. Do, 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 you can see on every... Jerry Hadley. Right. Well, on that note. Well, guys, what have we learned here today, Sha? What have you learned? I hate gays still. <sighs> She's not supposed to say that, Sha. Stick around because we have a, another video coming oh, up very soon amazing. where we talk about a specific stereotype that's really recently been brought to like discussions with James Charles. And I think Sha will have a lot to say about that. That is coming up very soon. Okay, well, here's the card for it. Here's the link. Uh, so bye then, everyone. Ah, uh, subscribe. Do you know it's been so long since we've done a video, I've forgotten how to end stuff. Um, subscribe, please. Join the... What is that? Oh, go on, Sha. Join the... Um, God. <laughs> Take a breath. Join the November account for us. Yes. <laughs> join the November... <laughs> I can't do it, the pressure's too fucking much. Just don't say it so fast. Join the November account become an arsehole. Yes! Oh, great. Bye, everyone. Oh, no, God, what's that? Sure, because I can, I don't mind. So, shut up please, Sha. Hello everyone, um, I'm just, I'm stepping back into the room uh, because Nova was very quick to turn the camera off, as was Sha. Um, and I've got, there's some, there's some birthday shout outs I need to do. So I'm gonna do that now, um, because Sha, Sha, so disgusting. Um, because we haven't uploaded in a long time, so I've missed a couple of people in May. So, <laughs> you're an absolute creeper. So I'm gonna say happy birthday too. Let me find the, Sha, hold this please. Sha, oh. hold this. Sha, hold that please. Is that right? Hold that. That's nice, that's really nice. Come around here please. That's nice, that's nice. Cheers. Oh, that's good. Look how great I look. Okay, no, Sha, Sha. Okay, so happy birthday to, I don't know how to say your name. I'm gonna say Jacoby, like Derek Jacoby. Jacoby, it's like Jacob with a Y on the end. Ja Jacoby. Happy birthday to you! Don't know how to say your name, I'm so sorry. Also, Olivia, I can say your name, that's fine. I'm not suggesting, Jacoby, you should change your name at all. 
but that's just the way it is. Shah's so unfit, her hand is like shaking and she's like in such pain. <laughs> so happy birthday also to Olivia, thank you so much for being here. And, oh there's two here on the same day, Christ you guys are so greedy. Jennifer, Jennifer G, you know who you are, um, Jennifer Hart, hello darling, how are you? And also, Chris, Chris I won't say your surname in case there's creepers and people sort of like creep up on you on the internet. But uh, you're yeah, right here, see I've got a list of people, see? So also, um, Chris, happy birthday to you. And then also, the last one is Michelle, whose birthday was on the 3rd of May, so I'm really shit here. That's so long ago, I do apologise, Michelle. Hope you guys all had a lovely time, lovely birthday, got really pissed. And here's a happy birthday from Shah. I didn't say happy birthday. Say it, Shah. Happy birthday, loves. And a pooja, what is this behaviour to our brand new patron, James Milne? If you'd like to join the party, head over to patreon.com slash novimpr.